Now let's see uh, what happens when we react again solutions of potassium carbonate and cupric sulfate. These are both ionic compounds. There's no acid or base present. So what are we looking for? Well, you should have said we're looking for a precipitate. So we're going to start off by writing potassium carbonate. Again, if you don't know the formula, we're in big trouble. So there's potassium carbonate. And we're going to add to that copper 2 or cupric sulfate, CuSO4. Copper is plus 2. Okay, not plus 3. It's plus 2. And sulfate is minus 2. That is soluble, again, according to the solubility rules. Now we can um, do this double replacement reaction. So potassium is going to go with sulfate. Uh, remember, potassium is plus 1, carbonate is minus 2, so that's we're keeping the 2 here because um, we're dealing with minus 2 as our anion. That is soluble, and then we're going to get copper 2 carbonate, and that is a precipitate, and that's the important part of this reaction. If everything was soluble when we mix two salts, there would be no reaction. But in this case, we def definitely have a reaction. So now we're going to write out the total ionic. So this is soluble. We don't write it as K2. We write it as 2K. We're going to have carbonate. That's aqueous. Uh, we're going to have copper 2, aqueous, plus sulfate, aqueous. Okay, so everything is soluble. Um, copper, or I'm sorry, potassium sulfate, that is soluble. So, so far, nothing has changed on the left or right, but then when we get to copper 2 carbonate, we're going to write it as the precipitate. Okay, we keep it together. We don't separate it because of that it's a solid. If it's aqueous, it would have come apart. So we can see that potassium is the same on each side. Again, both the way we wrote it and the state is the same. Carbonate, though, changed. Copper changed, but sulfate. So potassium and sulfate are what we call our spectator ions. Now let's write the net ionic equation. Let's take the copper. Now we could have written it CO3 first, but I'm just going to put the positive first. It doesn't really matter when they're separate. Okay, so again, it's an ion over here in solution. It's soluble on the right. Again, notice that the state is the same. That's real important that the states are the same. As we go down, the state stays the same. Now, it changes on the other side. So going from left to right, the state may change. Not necessarily, but in this case, it does. However, Notice that we have solid, solid, solid. So as we go down, the state does not change. In this case, as we go from left to right, it does. So that's the net ionic equation. Our, the compound that forms the precipitate is what we're showing it for. We got rid of our spectator ions.